Hi, welcome to Test Academy TV. In this video, we'll talk about subtracting decimal numbers with or without regrouping. Now, I'll show you how to subtract decimal numbers using this example. 8,976 ten thousands minus 5,463 ten thousands. Okay, let's know first the rules in subtracting decimal numbers. Number one, arrange the minuend and subtrahend in columns. Number two, align the decimal point. Number three, subtract from right to left. Four, if the decimal places in the minuend are less than in the decimal places of the subtrahend, add zero to the minuend as a placeholder to have an equal decimal places. Number five, regroup if necessary. Six, put the decimal point in the difference just below the decimal point of the minuend and subtrahend. Okay, let's arrange the numbers in columns. The minuend is 8,976 ten thousands and the subtrahend is 5,463 ten thousands. Now, let's subtract. So we will start subtracting from right to left. Okay, so subtract. 6 minus 3 equals 3. 7 minus 6 equals 1. 9 minus 4 equals 5. And 8 minus 5 equals 3. Since there is no numbers in the whole number to be subtracted, so we will just copy 0. And then, Put the decimal point in the difference just below the decimal point of the minuend and the subtrahend. So the difference is 3,513 ten thousands. Let's have another example. 9,123 ten thousands minus 5,876 ten thousands. Okay, first... Let's arrange the minuend and the subtrahend in columns. This is the proper arrangement of the numbers. Now let's subtract from right to left. So let's subtract 3 minus 6. Cannot be because 6 is greater than 3. So in this example, we need to regroup. We will borrow from the next digit to the left. So, we'll borrow from 2. 2 will become 1 and 3 becomes 13 because the number that we borrowed is 10. Okay, subtract now. 13 minus 6 equals 7. Subtract 1 minus 7 cannot be. So, we need to borrow again from the digit to the left, which is 1. So, 1 will become 0. And the number 1 that borrowed becomes 11. So 11 minus 7 equals 4. Next, 0 minus 8 cannot be. So we need to borrow from 9. Okay, so let's borrow from 9. 9 will become 8 and 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 8 equals 2. And then subtract. 8 minus 5 equals 3. Since there is no whole number to be subtracted, then let's write 0. And then put the decimal point in the difference. So the answer is 3,247 ten thousands. Another example, 86 hundredths minus 4,529 ten thousands. Okay, first step, let's arrange the minuend and the subtrahend in columns. Let's align the decimal point and the digits according to their place value. 
Okay, this is the proper arrangement of the numbers. As you can see, there are only two decimal places in the minuend, and there are four decimal places in the subterhand. Okay, in this example, we need to add zeros as placeholder to make the decimal places of the minuend and the subterhand equal before we can subtract. So, let's add two zeros in the minuend. Now, the minuend and the subtrahend have an equal decimal places, so we can subtract now. Let's subtract from right to left. Okay, 0 minus 9 cannot be, so we need to regroup. Let's borrow from the next digit to the left. But since the next digit is 0, so we need to proceed to the other digit, which is 6. So we will borrow from 6. 6 will become 5. The 0 in the thousands place will become 9. And the 0 in the ten thousands place becomes 10. So we can subtract now. So let's subtract. 10 minus 9 equals 1. 9 minus 2 equals 7. 5 minus 5 equals 0. And 8 minus 4 equals 4. No whole numbers to be subtracted, so write 0. Then put the decimal point. The answer is 4,071 ten thousandths. Now, can you answer this question? What is the difference if 692 thousands is subtracted from 85 hundredths? You can comment your answer. Thank you for watching. See you next time and God bless.